Welcome to this lesson on linear functions transformations. A parent function is the simplest form of a function. And for a linear function, the parent function is y equals x or f of x equals x. So it's x to the first power. And on a graph, that's a line with a positive slope going through 0, 0. So that's the parent function for a line. It hasn't been moved or changed any. It's the original version. So a transformation is moving or changing that parent function. You can move it up, down, left, right. You can stretch it, shrink it, or even reflect it over the x-axis. So let's look at some of these transformations below. And when you're looking at the equation for the transformation, C stands for any constant. Okay, so if I want to move a line up, then I'm going to add to my function. So if this is my line, y equals 3x, and I want to move it up 2, then my new line would be 3x plus 2. So you just add to the end however far up you want to go. So that would move the line up two units. And then down five, you're going to subtract five, so minus five. So 3x minus five. If you want to move to the right, then you're going to actually subtract the amount you want to move, and you're going to put it in parentheses. So if I want to move right 6, y equals 3 parentheses x minus 6. So it's a little bit backwards than what you would think. It's always a minus for right and then a plus for left. And you can actually simplify that if you want to distribute that 3. So 3x minus 18. If you want to move to the left, you're going to add in parentheses to the x, so y equals 3, parentheses x plus 1, and then if you want to simplify that and distribute that 3, 3x plus 3. Alright, a vertical stretch means you're going to be multiplying by a certain number, and in this case I want to multiply by 3. So y equals 3 times 3x, which is 9x. And a stretch is going to make your line have a steeper slope, so it's going to rise faster. And you know it's a stretch because that number we're multiplying by is greater than 1. For a shrink, you're still going to be multiplying, but the number is going to be between 0 and 1, and that's going to flatten out your line and make it rise more slowly. It's going to have a smaller, less steep slope. So I'm going to multiply by 1, 3, 1 over 3, 1 third. So if I simplify that, 1 third times 3, that's just 1x or x. And then to reflect it across the x-axis, you multiply by negative 1. So negative 1 times 3x would be negative 3x. And what that does is it makes your slope negative, so the line will now fall from left to right. Okay, so let's try some of these examples. So we're going to transform the function y equals 2x for each example below. So if I want to move left 4, remember left you actually add 4 in parentheses. So 2 parentheses x plus 4. And then you can simplify that by distributing the 2. So 2x two plus 8. If I want to move up 5, I just add 5 to the entire function, so plus 5 at the end. Vertical stretch by 3, that means I'm going to multiply by 3 out front. So y equals 3 times 2x. Remember, this is the function we are transforming, 2x. So that would simplify to 6x. And then a vertical shrink. 1 half times 2x. 1 half times 2, that's 1, so just y equals x. 
Reflect over the x-axis, that means you're going to multiply by negative 1 out front. So negative 2x. Just going to make the line fall from left to right. All right, number 6 has two different transformations. I want to move a right 5 and down 3. So right 5 means I'm going to be subtracting 5 in parentheses. Down 3 means I'm going to subtract 3 at the end. So let's simplify this. So we have 2x, 2 minus times negative 5 is minus 10, and then minus 3 at the end. And I can still simplify a step further because I have like terms. Negative 10 minus 3, that's negative 13. Alright, you can go ahead and stop the video and complete your practice.